So I think it's no surprise. I've been watching a lot of Caleb Hammer recently because, and this one is something that I really want to comment on because according to him, this is the saddest situation we've ever seen in what he calls a finding like button. It's subscribed. It helps out the channel tremendously. I'll also link to Caleb. I am a pool cleaner and I am a Papa John's driver part-time. People are very brave, by the way, uh, to sign up for a financial audit because they know what they're getting into. They've seen all of the knowing what the situation is going to be and how it just usually devolves. Some of them, I have a feeling, will really turn their lives around, but a lot of them just, like, they don't want to face the reality. I have the greatest bosses in the whole entire world, but I used to be a waitress at Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. I met them. They worked for another pool company, and then they opened their own pool company, and I was like, you're going to let me work for you. Okay. Probably not. And I'm like, no, you're going to. Like, I'm going to show you I can work for y'all. You know what? She does not lack in motivation and drive. Yeah. She's got both of those really going for her. So we, we got to find where the disconnect is because she's a hard worker and she's on it. Like, to have that sort of push, it's uncommon. Well, well how many hours a week do you work with that, Jen? Like 8 to 5.30. Oh, every day? Yeah. I she's got the hustle, and I think she's got to apply that in other areas that will begin making her more. Used to an emergency to me was, like, I could buy a car battery. And that's yeah. where I'm at. Like, if I had to buy a car battery tomorrow, I, I could. Think that's most and that different. was an accomplishment for me. Um, but I recently just got custody of two kids. And Whoa. I kind of have to think about them. Oh, man. There's a lot more to this situation. You know, the th I think she was never really taught about money, didn't really know what to do. But the fact that she just spends what she makes, if she could just keep her head above water, like, she is ahead of so many people here in the United States, just to be mm -hmm. able to do, she's got the hustle. Basically, I'm, here's the reality. She's gonna have to sacrifice her career and her prospects to take care of two of her siblings. That's the reality of it. Gonna have to give up those earning years of her career to take care of them. And the grandma is um, the mother of which parent? My mom. She came to with me because that would be impossible to do on her own she just couldn't do it how do you how do you manage something like that without without family support so it's good she at least has that but she, gosh you know she needs way more help than she's able to, to give yeah. where's dad uh my dad's doing his own thing you know he's married has a just got a house being any fiscal irresponsibility on her part it's just she's in over her head Oh. We started with a thousand three hundred thirty-six dollars. Seven thousand dollars came in. I mean, that's a, that's way beyond. That's a lot. What we have here. Yeah. So we'll see what that's about. But oh, I received seven hundred and eighty-five dollars a month for the boys. Oh, okay. But still, I mean, it's like seven eighty-five is going to go so quickly. You add up like school supplies, food for them, profit. Nah, <laughs> I'm so used to everything being like just profit and loss. And not just like have money left over. Carport coffee and Mexican restaurant and five stars and tequila and coffee. Yeah, see, the, the, this is the stuff she could easily cut out. It's like, I don't think she, not worth it in this, in this case. Even though she's making enough to be able to do that, at the end of the day, her expenses will be too high. It's just, it's going to pull away from everything else. I bought a lunchbox okay. that heats up my food. Oh. I bought it last week. The only times I have not used it are when my boyfriend was here and whenever um, Fazoli's on Tuesdays is $3. So that's why I go to Fazoli's on Tuesdays. Yeah, she's got to do that. Whatever it takes is not to eat out for lunch because that adds up. Just imagine it's it's $10 a day, right? doesn't seem like that much, but over a month, 300 bucks over a year, $3,600. So it's like you could fully fund an emergency fund by not going to lunch every day for $10. So it adds up. If we don't have an emergency fund and we have dependents, we have dependents, yeah. including your grandma and two children. She should really be cutting out any discretionary spending. Maybe, again, 50 to 100 bucks a month. Discretionary, that's there. You can do whatever you want with that. But beyond that, though, it's just got to be eating food at home, making drinks at home. Uh, doing free activities. That's what she has to do, unfortunately. Um, you know, it, it, it's just what's required. If you know you need an emergency fund, why are we possibly doing this like five times a day? Well, that's recently. Like when I just started watching oh, come you. On. No, I didn't. Well, when's, when's recently? Because this is recently. This is the middle of last month. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, she can't afford it. Uh, I'm, I know it sucks to say no to kids. They don't understand the situation, but you gotta just say no. 20 years from now, they'll thank you for that now. The rental vehicle, nobody in my house could rent a car but me. Car? Did they pay you? I got, yes. I want, she paid me, I believe, 600 back, whatever the actual rental was. Can you go to eat 
with 12 people. And they say, oh, let's put it on your card. Okay, you put it on your card, and everyone Venmo's you. Well, usually you tally it up, and it never equals the total. It's always short. Someone's always shorting within the group, and then you have to make up the difference. Seems like that's what's happening here. She's the one who's paying for it. They're all reimbursing her, but it never equals the amount that she is owed. Not Definitely for the boys, at, like, myself. goodwill and stuff as well. The problem with doing that with boys is they deserve to destroy a pair of clothes just like any other child. I'm confused how that has well, to do with goodwill. Well, if you goodwill. buy a broken down shirt, it's already broken down. Like, they don't... Yeah, I mean, I agree with Caleb on that. Like, these, these kids, they, they, you know, just give them what they need to. It doesn't have to be more than that. Maybe get some hand-me-downs. Um. Fee, I've never missed a payment. Um, I've paid them down every single month. The only one that took a minute was Academy when I first opened it. Because when I first opened it, I think it was like $600 that we put on it. See, the thing is, she's responsible. Like, she's paying off the credit cards on time. She's trying to pay them down. Uh, you know, the spending could be cut back, but she's doing more right than she is wrong. What's the car? A 2023 Highlander. And what was the purchase now, price of this car? What I will I am leasing it, mm. which means no interest, but... I'm leasing it. Uh, yeah, I think she's going to be left over with nothing by the time she's done with it, which, you know, might be okay. But at this point for her, I'd get the cheapest big car that she could own outright that's like 10 years old, that runs, no mechanical issues, and just drive it until it stops working. The possibility of me switching it is very, very low. I'll change everything else, but probably not the car. Why? Why do you care about it? Because well? there's a lot. I take a lot of mental heat from a lot of people. Who? Everybody in my house. Oh, it's not that. Mm -mm. Uh, you know what? I bet she's being guilted by everyone. Every spare penny that she has, if she's not spending it on someone else, they're guilting her and she's got nowhere else to turn. Where could she move? She's got to take care of the two kids, but she can't do it on her own. So she has to rely on some of the other people who aren't working, by the way, and want her to spend more money. It's a terrible situation to be in. Who are these two adults in your house? My oldest brother and his wife. Jeez, okay. Are they paying rent? No. They can live with you until they can find another place. Uh, which is what I'm okay with. But they, they have, to, have, have to pay rent and they have to have a plan. So the rent issue... Mm -hmm. Is because, okay, so Nana, I want to say recently came into a bunch of money, but recently came into a bunch of money. How so? She sold the house. Oh, she sold her house, let the leeches take the money, and then she has no more money left. This is what is. Grandma seems like she's just handing out funds left and right. She's, she's like Jerome Powell. It's like, oh, you need money? Here you go. You need money. And now she's got no, no money left. It, it, it sucks. It, it seems like, you know, Grandma has a good heart, but doesn't know when to put her foot down. You need to have a sit down with Nana. What would make sense for your grandchildren, all the grandchildren, is if they took over our portion of the rent, which was 900, mm -hmm. 900, which two of them together could easily come up with, easily come up with. Yeah, I agree. She's got to get out of there. Because these people are just dragging her down. They're contributing nothing to her. They're making her life more difficult. I think she's relying on them a bit for, like, child care. But beyond that, I, I think the damage they're doing is so much greater than the benefit that they bring. My boyfriend lives three hours away from me. So he is passionate about coffee. So we found a coffee shop that we both like. And it's... Um, like a dumb thing that I share with him. Yeah, but again, you don't spend the money on it. Uh, or you just say like, oh, that's part of the $50 that I have for the entire month and that is what I'm spending the money on. But I think he should also understand that she's in a position she can't afford it. And maybe he starts paying up a little bit more. I'm uh -oh. still confused why he can't pay. Oh, because he's three hours away. I'm going by myself. Oh, but it's what? I'm... Oh, geez, I thought they were doing this together. Geez, what? you don't need to have a coffee, like the same brand of coffee as he does. That's kind of silly. I mean, I, I get, I kind of get it, but like, don't do, no. What I'm going to need you to do for probably a month, no, 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 well, it's going to be a little longer than that, but for the first month, I'm sorry, we're just not doing those extra things unless someone's paying for it, just for a month, because what you're doing is you're saving up $800 as quick as you can. Free, and just cut back. She's got so much on her plate already, I'm surprised she even has time to go and do things. Between everything that she's got in her life, I would say she's too busy. She's too busy to do anything. She should just be taking care of the kids, working, sleeping, and maybe some free entertainment thrown in. Truly budget, never overspend in those categories. Get that emergency fund, pay off this personal loan, start investing 20% a month, a year, to retirement. 
Okay. And you'll be in a good place. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe.